Hi, I'm Sam Grinhard, Acting Deputy Secretary of the Communications and Media Group in the Department of Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development, Communications and the Arts. Today I'll be talking to you about two important and interconnected issues, the importance of digital connectivity and the safety of the technology that enables it. As we know, we're living in a highly digital world where our reliance on digital connectivity, such as wireless networks, is no longer a luxury but is essential. We cannot fully participate in modern society without it. All Australians, regardless of where they live or work, expect to have a reliable mobile service. They expect mobile connectivity in the same way as they expect to have other essential services, like water and electricity. We're committed to enabling Australians to connect to effective, safe communication services and to fostering investment in communications technologies to support inclusion and sustainable economic growth. In Australia, approximately 60% of the population rely only on their mobile phones to make and receive calls at home, and this figure is increasing. This technology is not only being used for multiple applications in the home, but it's also crucial in many sectors, including small business and the agriculture industry. The Australian Government is committed to ensuring all Australians have mobile connectivity regardless of their location, and we have an ambitious policy and program agenda underway to help achieve this. Unfortunately, we hear from many people who lack access to telecommunications connectivity, which leads to diminished digital inclusion outcomes and participation in our increasingly digital society. We also hear from people in these same communities who are concerned about perceived health risks associated with emissions of electromagnetic energy, or EME, from telecommunications equipment. We understand councils and planners are often stuck trying to balance community concerns about perceived health effects of EME from telecommunications equipment against community expectation about levels of connectivity and coverage. It's with this in mind that I hope we can provide you with enough information and confidence that telecommunications equipment and infrastructure proposed to be deployed in your communities is safe. It's important to note that for modern telecommunications networks to operate effectively, equipment and infrastructure needs to be installed in close proximity to the area it is expected to serve. We know from recent research commissioned by the department that some people become concerned about EME when infrastructure is installed in their communities and near their home. We want to reassure you and the communities you serve that EME from telecommunications is researched, regulated and safe. The effects of EME exposure are the subject of extensive and rigorous scientific study around the world. The Australian Government strictly regulates EME emissions to protect the health and safety of all members of the public while also enabling the community to access essential modern telecommunications services. Our department's role is to provide a coordinated point for communities and other interested stakeholders like local government to access information about the research, regulation and safety of EME from telecommunications infrastructure. We have a resource hub at www.eme.gov.au which includes over 100 resources, such as simple to understand fact sheets, posters, videos and infographics, as well as resources translated in the most commonly spoken languages other than English. The department continues to add and refresh its communications materials to ensure the information we provide on the research, regulation and safety of EME from telecommunications in Australia is based on the most up-to-date research and other explanatory material available. We understand communities and councils can become concerned about the cumulative effect of EME from equipment installed in local areas by multiple telecommunications providers. There's no particular advantage in requiring transmitters to be located any particular distance from residential areas. We also prefer telecommunications equipment to be co-located on existing available public infrastructure or with another mobile network operator wherever possible to help manage deployment concerns. So I'd like to encourage you to think about how we can best work collaboratively to communicate the safety of EME alongside the benefits of mobile connectivity in your communities. We'll soon be sending all local governments and councils an updated copy of our stakeholder toolkit so you can help us share information on the safety of EME from telecommunications with your communities and networks. We'll also be undertaking educational activities and working with local stakeholders and media to disseminate this information in select areas where a need for this information has been identified. If you'd like to discuss these details further or would like more information, please get in contact with the department via eme at communications.gov.au. Thanks very much.